Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with EXP. In today's video, we're gonna cover what to expect when living in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Portsmouth is a stunning seaport city located in Rockingham County, 45 miles east of Manchester and 58 miles north of Boston. They have an estimated population of 21,927 residents, spread across a total area of 16.82 square miles. Situated in the Piscataqua River bordering the state of Maine, the former home of the Strategic Air Command's Pease Air Force Base, now known as Portsmouth International Airport at Pease. Known for their growing food scene, Portsmouth offers a variety variety of small locally run coffee shops, bakeries, and restaurants. One of their popular spots is the Friendly Toast, a local franchise with five locations, three in Massachusetts, one in New Hampshire, and one in Vermont. They offer an extensive breakfast, lunch, and dinner menu, including vegetarian and vegan options, with all items available any time of the day. Another local hotspot is Market Square, a brick-lined street full of shops, boutiques, specialty shops, and galleries of fine art and decorative works by local craftsmen. A great area to stop for a bite to eat during a warm summer afternoon. For beautiful views from the water, Harbor Cruises begins at Portsmouth Downtown Dock near Market Street, where you can also board cruises to the Isles of Shoals, a small group of islands that divide between New Hampshire and Maine. During the summer months, it's only a short three-mile drive to Water Country Water Park, operating as the largest water park in all of New Hampshire for over 30 years. A perfect spot for families to enjoy some fun outdoor activities during a hot July day. If water parks aren't your thing and you'd rather escape to the beach, then you'll be glad to hear that Portsmouth is only 13 miles from York, Maine. The beautiful town located on the southern tip of the state offers three 18 old golf courses, four sandy beaches, and Mount Agamenticus. Being a relatively small city based on land area, it tends to feel more populated than it actually is. For comparison, they have a population density of 1,396 people per square mile versus the state capital Concord, New Hampshire, which has 679. Despite having Having three times the population of Portsmouth, they also have the largest land area in the state, making it feel a lot less congested. Similar to other small cities in New Hampshire, the data shows a slight decline in the number of families that call Portsmouth home, with only 20.2% of houses having children under the age of 18 living there. However, the city tends to attract a lot of young professionals, with the largest percentage of the population being between ages 25 to 44. The beauty of the ocean does come at a high cost. With the median home price of $526,104. Even with the median household income of $78,027 per year, these prices make it difficult for young families looking to buy a home. Due to its coastal location, the job market tends to be a little less diverse than you'd find in the larger cities. Because of this, it's more common for residents to be established financially before making the move to the seaport city. That being said, a few of the largest companies in the area are Ocean Properties, Hotels, Resorts, and affiliates, Bottom Line Technologies, and Margarita's Management Group. The Portsmouth School District is made up of four public schools, of which those include a technical education center and an academy to give students an alternative high school program. Portsmouth High School services around 1,100 students, grades 9 through 12, with a student-to-teacher ratio of 12 to 1. Being near the coast, temperatures during June, July, and August remain in the mid to high 70s, much more moderate than cities further west. This also contributes to very cold winters with the average temperature in the mid to low 30s. For those of you in search of a white Christmas, the chances are very high considering Portsmouth averages 53 inches of snow per year. And that wraps up the video guys of what to expect when living in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe below. It really helps to grow the channel. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, Feel free to reach out. I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.